Comment down below how upset you would like me to be. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rickens, aka Rickens. <laughs> and today we're gonna be doing more Mish because honestly, if you have not tried the Tropical Oasis line, I feel sorry for you. I do. I really do feel sorry for you because. I have, I don't know, I don't know if I was avoiding Mish, I don't know what was going on, but, well no, I know what was going on. I have too many products, right? So, I was kind of just avoiding buying new things, but I caved in, I got the Tropical Oasis line, and that deep conditioner, bonfire. The gel? Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. So, I was like, you know what? Clearly, Mish knows how to do limited edition, okay? So I was like, <laughs> I went on the website and usually they have four um, limited edition deep conditioners for fall, but they only had two. I guess y'all didn't like the other two, so they stopped making those ones. Oh, but I have the sweet pumpkin spice and then I have the warm sugar cookie in my closet. Um, but I was like, you know what? It's November what? November 2nd? November 2? So, I was like, and I wanted to do my hair, so I was like, let me um, use a full deep conditioner, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to use the Sweet Pumpkin Spice Ayurvedic Deep Conditioning Treatment. Um, this is for growth and strength. Right here, zoom in, period. Um, I love an Ayurvedic treatment, and... I'm just excited to use another Mish product, if I'm being honest, like, the Tropical Oasis line, if that is a representation of, like, all of their stuff, of, like, their brand, period, I'm sold. <laughs> because, truly, those products really, they really genuinely shocked me, because, like, that deep conditioner, my hair has never felt so good than when I've used that. And then the gel, oh my God. It's like, it's a stronghold gel that is also- What? That is also moisturizing. So like my hair didn't feel dry, not a single day of it being in my hair. And I only used that one. I only used the gel, I didn't use the leave-in, I didn't use anything with it. Like, my hair just felt so good. Like, I've never felt my hair like that. Like, literally, after that wash and go, I bought two more jars of that gel. Why? Why not? <laughs> Why, though? Because I just feel like a gel like that should not be limited edition. I just don't. I don't. I don't. So, I have two more because if they, if, <laughs> if a year, 365 days comes around, and they don't sell that anymore, I'm gonna be mad. You're going to jail! I am. Um, but that's not about this. This is about sweet pumpkin spice. So, <laughs> so we're gonna do this, okay. Um, what does it say? It says, cozy up this fall and spice up your routine with a classic fall favorite, blah, 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 decadent sweet pumpkin, blah, blah, blah. Um, natural oils, powerful Ayurvedic herbs, such as Fendi Greek, period. Period! Brahmi, period. Period! Amla, period. Period! Burn wash, period. Period! And pumpkin seed oil, um, which helps strengthen hair and add shine, promote hair growth, stimulate hair follicles, and so much more. Even though this smells good enough to eat, please don't. <laughs> I will say, that one thing Mish has down is scents. Because this is not shade, this is just the truth. Okay. When I got this jar, it was exploding in the box, but the box smelled incredible. It did. This product, hold on, just give me one second.
This smells so good. <laughs> this, this smells so good. I was gonna say buy it. Don't buy it yet. I ain't use it. I didn't use it. I don't know what this feels like. Um, all I know is what it smells like. That's it, right? Don't buy it yet. Finish the video, and then if I like it, then you can buy it, right? Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna meet you in the bathroom. Okay. Bye. But you always give me stress-free point of view. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm in the bathroom, obviously. So I'm gonna apply. I think I've mentioned this before, the way that I apply deep tinctures now is I apply it to my whole head and then I break it up into sections. Y'all, this smells so good. It smells... <laughs> oh my god, the smell. It smells so freaking good. So this is the consistency. What? Very nice. So, I'm gonna apply... Mm, get a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh my god, wow. Oh, oh! I didn't forget to mention there is a ninety nine percent chance which means I am I am gonna leave this in overnight why why not <laughs> why though because it's late it's late and it's late <laughs> and that's really the excuse and I that's it um, for people who For people who do like to deep it overnight, this is gonna be for you, clearly. Because I'm applying a lot, which, duh. But um, yeah, like I said, for people who do like to deep condition overnight, this is for you because it's late and I just, I don't feel like waiting for this to marinate. And like I said in my last video, I am not a 20 to 30 minute deep condition type of guy. I like for my products to sit, so I'm actually really excited to see how this product does when I wake up because on the jar it says strengthening growth. So I'm hoping, I just, the only thing that I'm hoping is that it doesn't make my hair feel too, not dry, but like, like I don't, I don't want my hair to feel overly strengthened. I haven't read the rest of the ingredients. Let me see what else is in here. Put some more. On the crown, cause you know the crown be, um, the crown be doing stuff. It be like not the best part. So um, I'm saying, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, shall, anyway, so. There is mango butter and glycerin in here. They're not, far up on the ingredients list, but those are usually really moisturizing ingredients. So I am hoping that these will keep my hair from feeling like too strong when I rinse them out tomorrow. Like I said, 20 to 30 minutes, those directions are just not for me. I feel like every time I do actually follow the directions of a product that tell me to leave the things in my hair for like, 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, it just doesn't, it never feels as good as when I leave it in for at least one to two hours or overnight. Like it's just, unfortunately, it's just how my hair works. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it just is, it really just is. And like, I'm not mad, I'm not mad about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can just detangle, there's no like steam or anything. There's no heat in this bathroom right now. So hopefully it should be fine. Even though finger detangling, breeze. <laughs> finger detangling, breeze. So I would actually be really shocked if I could not get a brush through this. 
Let's find out. Um, faithful. Ooh, focus, please. Focus on me. Uh, uh, focus on me. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> Felicia. Felicia Leatherwood, my favorite brush, honestly. I do also like the, or I go back and forth. I, the Tangle Teaser, the naturally curly brush, it's one of those brushes where like, I feel like it does a good job, but then I also feel like it takes out more of my hair. I don't like that. Because there are so many more bristles. So I have a love-hate relationship with that brush because I feel like it takes out more of my hair. But this looks like look at oh uh-uh. Hold on, let me see. Do it look as pretty as I think it look? No. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that look great. Okay. You know that looks amazing. Okay, that that just gave me like all the faith that I needed for this product. And like I said, I have all the faith in the limited edition products of Mish Beauty. I actually do have the Sculpt Gel and the... I have a sample of the Set Mousse. So I'm really excited to try those. For lack of a better word, the only issue that I have, or like... The only reservation that I have about using those products is that I don't know if the new packaging means that the formula is different because I haven't really seen a lot of people use their new packaging. We'll see. I'm still excited, you know, based on the gel that I used from the Tropical Oasis line, that gel is probably going to perform, outperform a lot of gels on the market, which I can't be anything but excited about, you know? But yeah, this just glides through the hair. Look at that, oh my goodness. Wow. 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 How much of this formula they use for the Tropical Oasis? No, but I also just, I love Ayurvedic uh, formulas. So, I'm kind of just really praying that my hair just feels incredible because I kind of need it. I've been losing a lot of hair recently, mostly because I've kind of been neglecting my hair care routine. Half sway. It's weird, like I'll just go through phases where I'm either really on it or I just really don't care. And this has kind of been like a really don't care phase, which sucks because like this is the longest my, like this is the longest my hair has ever been. And I think I'm gonna have to go to the salon and get a trim. Like, I wanna get a trim anyway, but the next time I go to a salon, I think I'm gonna ask them to take a good amount off. Just because I really, it's, it's just interesting how like trims really do make a difference. And if you don't keep up with them, even if they're like self-maintained, I feel like you will see the difference in your hair almost immediately, you know what I mean? So, I will say, even if you like self trim or like cut your hair at home, I would, stay, I would say stay on top of it because like, I didn't, I didn't. And I feel like I now, I kind of went through I feel like I'm going through a setback with my hair and I feel like I need to get a trim so that my hair just looks more full, you know? That's where I am right now. And y'all, why did my Dyson die this week? I'm so upset. Mm. All right. <laughs> my Dyson died this week. It's like, it overheated. If you have a Dyson, clean your filter. I'm letting you know this right now. If you have a Dyson, make sure you check on that filter because my Dyson overheated and just gave up. Gave up on life and I was like, damn. I thought we were friends. No. And I was, <laughs> and it, we clearly aren't. Yeah, if you have a Dyson, check your filter because you never know. I'm gonna go to a Dyson repair center and get it repaired, but I don't know how much it's gonna cost and I hope it's not too expensive because, 
<laughs> because that hair dryer is what? How much? 400? 450? Help me. No. I will say, if this one is irreparable, I will get one. I will get a new one. What? Because genuinely, I love that hair dryer and I want another one. I do. I absolutely do. I don't care. I do. Tomorrow, I am, I'm getting paid, and I'm going to order the pattern hair dryer because I really, I've been so curious about it and I want it. That's how I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm, I really, I really do want it. I've been thinking about it for such a long time and I feel like this is the university and like, get it. Who said that? 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 <laughs> it's just an excuse for me to buy more things. It is, and I know that, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get the pattern hair blow dryer. Cause like I've been, I've been. The reason I, w I want the pattern hair dryer is because of the the brush attachment. That's what I'm really curious about. The blowouts that I've seen. It's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. Don't look as good as the ones that I've seen for Dyson. So I'm nervous about that for sure, but it's half the price. So price wise, that kind of makes sense, right? Okay. I'm not really worried about heat damage because even when I don't take care of my hair, I take care of my hair, right? So I'm not, I'm not too pressed. Even though, like, I know it has like an ion switch and like, if you want less volume, you turn that on. If you want more volume, you turn it off and blah, blah, blah. Smoothing the cuticle, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just like, blowing out my hair should not be this much work. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what, that's all I'm gonna say about the subject. That's it and that's all, but I want it. <laughs> I also want it because aesthetically, fire it is the pattern beauty hair dryer is gorgeous it is it's beautiful and I want it and I actually really do like pattern hair products so I would actually be surprised if I didn't like the blow dryer right however I do know that I'm going to be hard on it because the Dyson is just it's such a good blow dryer that pattern it's gonna have to, it's really gonna have to blow my mind. Like, it just is. Like, I want it, I really do want it, and I'm probably just gonna get it because, like I said, this is just an opp opportunity for me to do more shopping. I wanted it for so long. <laughs> I wanted it for so long, and my rule for like shopping is if you see something that you wanna buy, but you don't really want to spend the money, don't buy it. And if you're still thinking about it for like a really long time, then get it. You know what I mean? Like if you can get it in like a couple of weeks or months or whatever, and you're still thinking about it, then you should just get it. Because if you can't stop thinking about that thing, why would you not get it, right? I'm really the toxic friend when it comes to shopping. Even though I don't even think that's a toxic, I don't think that's a toxic shopping method because if you forget about the product, you're not gonna buy it. You know what I mean? Like this blow dryer, I've wanted it. I wanted it, I wanted it since it came out. And the second my Dyson stopped working, I was like, oh, I'm getting the pattern one, period. Period! <laughs> Clearly. It's meant to be. Also, I just wanna say, I'm not struggling with this deep conditioner at all. I've been talking for I don't even know how long, and I haven't even noticed that I'm detangling my hair and applying product. Like, so I just wanna say that because the ease in which I'm using this product is insane because I've just been going through my hair and talking and I haven't had a single thing to say. So, I just wanna point that out. I just wanna point that out because I think that that's really important because if I would've had an issue, if I, if I would've had a problem, you would've known 
immediately. This, this is amazing. I'm having a great time. One thing that I'm finding out right now, at least about their limited edition products, is that Misha's fire. It is, I'm having a great time. I, I kind of just feel like I'm playing in my hair. Um, so, yeah, I really have no, I have no complaints at all. Application wise, these products are top tier. Like, when I tell you ease, easy, easy like Sunday morning, easy. You know, this is clearly not sponsored. You know what I mean? So, and I already told you, like, I need a trim. So, like, if it looks like I'm struggling, that is 100% my fault because I need a trim. But salon visits are expensive. And I was actually going to do an at-home trim, but then my blow dryer decided that he didn't want to work anymore. So, here we are. <laughs> and mind you, oh my God, I have to go to a wedding tomorrow as well. I'm not working this one. I'm just going as a guest. And I just want to have a good time. I don't really want to worry about my hair. The universe, the universe loves to like mess with people. And this was the week where I was going to start doing like um, twist outs and braid outs and like stretching out my hair and wearing my hair blown out and all these things. My dancer was like, you thought, you thought, you thought, you know, yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna do all those things. We're gonna do all those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so here I am. <sighs> Doing none of those things. Unless I get to the Airbnb. <laughs> Unless I get to the Airbnb tomorrow and there's a blow dryer, right? If I get to the Airbnb tomorrow and there's a blow dryer, I'm obviously trying to check my hair. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. So, the next video after this one is going to be my first out style of the year because I really want to focus on out styles for a while just because I want to see I do actually want to see if out styles help with like um, shedding and like if I lose less hair doing my hair in an out style right whether whether, whether it's with heat or not I do want to see if doing my hair in like twist outs and braid outs for a while is going to benefit my hair even if it's like i blow my hair out and then i just moisturize it i want to see i do want to see if that makes a difference because i've said this in many videos i've said this in many videos i have so many creams i have so many creams i have so many butters and i just i just want to get rid of them and i don't i really do not i really don't want to throw them out I really don't. I really don't want to throw them out. There's only one product in that box that I might throw out because I remember using it last year. And if you've watched my videos, you know, you know what product I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what product I'm talking about. There's literally one product that I'm worried about and that's it because I used it and only that. And the flaking that I got was unbelievable. And I've only gotten extreme flaking from like two brands. I'm really not that stressed, especially with like creams and yeah, creams and butters. Like I am not worried about getting flakes with a lot of these products because I just, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. There's only one product in my stash that I know for sure that I might get flakes with. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that one. Truly, I've said it, I don't think I'm gonna do cream wash and goes. I just, yeah, I just don't, I just don't. Like, I don't mind my hair being in an afro, but 
I don't want to do, I don't want to go through all of the effort of doing a wash and go with a cream just for it to do nothing. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm obviously going to use significantly less product for a twist out or a right out, but I just, I cannot go through the effort of <laughs> trying to do a wash and go with a cream and it's just not working. I don't, I don't think mentally, mentally, I don't think that I can, I don't think that I can handle that. Oh wait, let me, let me, let me. I don't know if, I, st I kind of stopped, stopped showing y'all the, what this looks like. This is gorgeous. <gasps> oh my, oh my God. I, I thought about doing cream washing those for a really long time. I know my hair. And I know the products that I have in my stash. And I think maybe two or three products could give me what I'm looking for. And I understand that like YouTube is for like entertainment purposes and all this stuff and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But like, how, how upset do y'all want to see me for real? <laughs> Comment down below how upset you would like me to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, or how upset you would, you would you would be okay with seeing me because I feel like I'm really just gonna be mad, and I don't want to be mad if I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't I don't trash talk brands. Like, if I don't like something, I just don't like it. Like. Everything is not for everybody, and I feel like at this point, people should just know that, like, customers and brands, um, the same. Like, if a product does not work for me, cool, move on. I am one person, I am literally one person, and for the people who, like, hold on to every word of, like, an influencer, like, that's their experience. You might use the product and be like, this is amazing. I can't believe this person thought that this product was horrible. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, have your have your own opinion. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. You know, like, if you really hang on to other people's opinions, like their gold, maybe try things for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because I just don't, I don't see the benefit in not doing things yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously I see people use stuff and like I see people who I love use things and I'm like, really, you hated that? Wow, because that's one of my, that's one of my favorite products. I can't believe you hated that, you know what I'm saying? So like, you really, you really don't know sometimes, you know? Just because somebody's hair looks like yours does not mean that a product is going to act the same when it's on your hair. You are a completely different person. You have a completely different lifestyle. You really don't know. Just because our hair looks the same does not mean that a product is gonna work, work the same on your hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't live the same. I can eat garbage every single day. I can eat garbage and like not drink water, never exercise. I don't know what to me. But like, you can be the healthiest person on the planet, yada, yada, and you're like, oh my God, this product is fire, this is amazing, yada, yada. And then you see my video and I'm like, trash, trash, throw it out. Why would anybody make, because I've said that, I've said that before. Why would anybody make this? You know what I'm saying? I've, I've literally said those words and who am I? Who am I? Who am I? If you're really curious about something, just get it. Because who cares? Because at the end of the day, it is just hair, right? So it's really, ne it's never been that serious. It's really never been that serious. <laughs> like, it's really just hair. I'm just a random person on YouTube making videos about me doing my hair. So. You could do it too. Um, anyways, this is all applied. I was going to like add my oil mix to this, but I kind of just want to see 
how this does on its own. Um, my hair feels incredibly defined. So like a little bit of me, a like a little part of me is nervous about how my hair is gonna feel tomorrow morning. But I'm also kind of excited because I know that the ingredients in this product are just going to like fortify and make my hair feel healthy. Um, I just don't, I just hope I don't get like protein overload. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's, re that's really it. Even though I've kept like henna and things in my hair overnight before, and I know that my hair will be fine. I know my hair, I know at the end of the day, my hair will be fine. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow morning, either right before I rinse this out or when it's already rinsed out. So right now, right now, it is a, it is 11.42. So I'm not one of them YouTubers that's like, it's four o'clock in the morning and I just feel like doing my hair and then, no. <laughs> I just finished applying this product and it's 11.42. Guess what I'm doing? I'm going to bed. Period. Period. I'm gonna see you in the morning. Yeah. For those of you who are curious, I used way more than I wanted to. That's not the product's fault. That is literally just my fault. I was talking and I was just applying product. I wasn't paying attention to how much product I was using, but this is how much I use. Um, so if you're like me and you're already heavy handed, Maybe, shut up. <laughs> Maybe pay attention because I definitely did not need that much product. I just put it on because I felt like it. So I'm just gonna say that. Like I definitely, I 100% did not need, I really didn't need to add more product period. I just did it because I felt like it and I did like, I was enjoying just applying product and talking. So um, the amount that I use is not a reflection of the product. It's literally, this is the first time that, that I've done a video like this. So do not take how much I used as a sign of like, oh, I'm gonna need to be heavy handed, blah, blah, blah. Like, you really don't need a lot. You really don't, the, the amount that I used when I like applied the product was enough, but I'm heavy handed. I am, I am, I am. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm being a little bit quiet because uh, my boyfriend is sleeping, but yes. Absolutely, yes. Um, yeah, my hair feels great. My hair feels smooth, strong. My hair looks dark and shiny. My hair looks really healthy. My roots are even like waving up. Um, like my roots are defined from this deep conditioner. Like it's a 100% from me. I might do another video where I don't do leave in overnight just to see if there, how much of a difference there would be, but yeah. So far, deep conditioner wise, from Mish, they're two for two. I have zero complaints. Like my hair feels stronger, which is what I wanted. It feels strong, but it's smooth and it's not dry. You know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna, let me see if I take these out. Well, I'm probably just gonna take these at once out. Let's see if, the, if there's a point to doing this. That's a little bit, you can see a little bit. You can see a little bit of the definition. Yeah. Yeah, you can see a little bit of something, something. I just wanted to see, I probably should have rinsed it out and then showed it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but, but yeah, this is a great, like, this is a great base. Um, I'm really happy that I chose this one because I really kind of have been neglecting my hair lately and like I was gonna start doing like stretched out styles anyway so this is just this is just a great start 
you know? So, so yeah. I'm probably gonna try the warm cookie butter one next week because at this point, like, I'm very obsessed with niche. So, um, so yeah. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me, talking with me. Um, any thoughts, questions, opinions about things that y'all have, please leave them in the comments so we can talk about it. Um, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.